hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be walking you through the process of creating this musical flyer in photoshop of course with a few steps which i've shown you in the past with creating other flyers we are going to arrive at the same result just like we're seeing here like this so without having to waste much of your time let's get started so as usual like we've done before click on file and click on new now I'm just going to change this to 5x5 I'm working with inches resolution stays at 300 and um, I'm just going to give it the name of this composition which is music concert flyer just like this and when you're done everything stays the same like this RGB and click on create right great so the first thing you want to do is go to ad the adjustment layer fill at or adjustment layer click on it and um, of course we need to define the solid color which is the background color so click on solid color and use this this is the color code it's just plain black right great so um the next thing i'll be doing is the resource file for this particular video is in the description of the video itself so just do well to just click on it and uh, so you can access those files so you can use along in this video right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going over to my resource file and my first image that i'll be using which is this nice image right golden kind of effect image so what i'm going to do with this is very very simple i'll zoom out and um before i place it i'm just going to make it bigger so it covers the whole canvas right and when i'm done i'll just click ok right i'm going to turn down the opacity to 20. i think i'm going to leave it here i might change it depending on how the design goes i'm just going to rotate this ctrl t and i'm going to rotate it right so i'm just going to rotate like this and make it a little bit bigger just like this so i want to work with this region alone like this all right so next thing i'll do is i'll create a mask and make sure your foreground color is set to black right on the mask i would gently make sure you're using a soft round brush and i'll gently get off all these parts here and um, using my brush with my flow value you can see now the effect is the background is just on top i faded the bottom part right next thing i'm going to do is close this up go over to my resource file again i'm going to bring in the next image which is this golden hand with a microphone and I'm just going to move it in place like this and position it well here like this right so position this well here and um, when I'm I'm just going to increase it a bit make it bigger and when I'm comfortable with where it is I'll click enter and um, just leave it there I'm going to create a mask for this layer also and um, with my brush selected my flow set to the value it is right now I'm just going to clean off these areas here like this so it blends nicely with the background itself just like this right Yeah, so I think this is okay like this. I'm just going to go and bring in my next image, which is this image. So I'm just going to position it well. Before that, I'll use my mask. Um, make sure your foreground color is set to black, right? So I'm just going to gently conceal these areas. You can see my flow is set to 50. So I'm just going to gently conceal these areas like this 
right and on top too i'm just going to conceal these areas here just like this and i'm going to slightly reduce the flow of my brush like this and i'm just going to conceal these areas i don't want to be as sharp as that let me bring this down here like this so it's behind the microphone all right so i'm just going to get rid of those areas yeah like this and we still at the same flow yeah i'm just going to clean off those areas now i'm going to adjustment layer and this time i'm going to use hue and saturation all right so i'm going to click on um, colorize like this i'm going to turn my saturation all the way up yeah turn it all the way up and uh, i'm just going to fix it here so that i have like the gold like um effect or color so i'm just going to turn this on to use to gauge what i have on top so it's somehow close to the gold microphone right great so let me leave this i'm just going to go over to adjustment and this time I'm going to use in brightness and contrast so I'm just going to increase the brightness and I'm going to play with the contrast I think I like the contrast somewhere around here it's good I think this is nice here great okay so right about now I'm just going to go ahead to introduce my text so my text to selected, I'm just going to type a few things. All right, uh, I'm going to change my font to what I used. Uh, Morganite, that is what I used. So I'm just going to use it. The particular one that I used, uh, but first and foremost, I will change the color of the text itself. All right, I'm just going to give it the appropriate uh, spacing it needs. Good. I think this is nice so I'm gonna make a duplicate copy of this musical but before then let me make this smaller yeah let me use the particular one yes this one so I'm gonna control J on this to make a duplicate copy of this and uh, I'm just gonna change this to concept So I'm just going to move this well here in place and um, select the two of them, move it up like this. Alright. So with this one, the background, I'm just going to reduce the opacity like this. And for the crowd also, I think I might have to reduce it. Selecting the crowd, I'm going to drop the opacity like this. Remember guys, attention on the detail, not the background. Right, your attention should be on the details of the event itself so I'm just going to bring this up and um, I'm going to change the fonts this time while I make this smaller um, good I'm just going to leave this musical here I'm going to change it later on but then for now I'm just going to leave it here like this alright I'm still going to change it but for now I'm just going to leave it here so let's move on with the rest of the design so I'm just going to go over to my rectangle to I'm just going to draw a rectangle by default my color is black so I'm just going to double click on the thumbnail when it brings out the color I'm just going to use red like this and click OK so I'll just start typing right about now selecting my text that I want to use which is this one and make sure it's on top of the rectangle while I speed this up okay so there you have it if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime from now alright so um, let's get on with this so the next thing I want to do is I'll just to save us time I'll just group all of this first and I'm just going to name this group details 
right so I'm just gonna make it bigger like this good this is nice Let's click enter so the save us time and everything I had my venue and my time and um, every other thing typed out so I'm just gonna drag it inside and have it here like this like this and I want to increase the size of this one so it's almost close or the same size with what I have below right great okay so the next thing I want to do is directly on top of this I'm going to create a new layer and bring in my next image for this composition which is this light and it's a light and scratch effect so i'm just going to bring it and move it here move it in place here let me zoom in to see the nice effect this has created right now this is like a, a scratch and light effect so i'm going to set it to screen while i reduce the opacity right my opacity is set to the value it is right now so with my mask i'm just going to mask out all these areas that i don't want visible my flow stays at the same value it has been from the last adjustment all right i'm just going to position this well here like this i'm going to reduce the opacity more like this i think i'm okay with this the way it is all right great okay so having done that i'm going to the top layer and i'm going to adjustment layer i'm just going to select color balance so for my mid-tones just use the values that i'm going to be using right then for the shadows i'm going to tilt towards the blues then for the highlights this is somehow going to be tricky but i'm going to go with the reds and i'm going to add more of yellows to it right to make it pop more just like this right so you can copy my settings uh, let me add more yellow to the highlights because i have the golden hands that has yellow in it so it's expedient that i add more yellow to the composition itself so i'm going to select this tool and make it bigger you see why it's very very important to group and arrange your layers properly in photoshop all right so I'm going to the top layer once again. I'm going to create a new um, layer, but I'm going to use my brush and um, rub off some areas that I don't want. Oops, take this back. Good. I'm just going to paint along the areas that I don't want that light stroke scratch effect to be. This part, my blend mode is set to multiply like this. So before I make a blunder of leaving musical musical concert, I'm just going to click on the musical and I'm going to change it to what I want to change it to. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be making changes to this. So I'm just going to do that and that will be all for this video. Alright guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification. I'll see you later.